Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. So I've set up uh, the loading of some supplies on my trains. And here's how I've set it up. So this first wagon is a bunch of rail and signals, large power poles and train stations. So this is essentially what we need to build the train network. In this one I have mining drills, uh, medium electric poles, belts, uh, splitters, undergrounds, pipes, and lights. So this is for setting up outposts for mining and so forth. Um, <clears throat> now here, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight different items. Uh, so I had to double stack some of these requester chests in order to get them all on there. I suppose I could have put a couple over on the other side, but anyway, this is how it turned out. And then this one I have for landfill and stone walls. And then this last one I have emptying into active providers uh, so that this, this is essentially going to be like the junk wagon. So, you know, when I'm out and about, <clears throat> you know, if I pick up a lot of stone, wood, coal, that sort of thing, I can dump it into this wagon and it'll get automatically emptied when we come back to the base. Um, and then I can conveniently use this to uh, get rid of extra items I might happen to have in my inventory. Uh, kind of like I do right now. Let's see. Um, I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the blue circuits. All right, so we just finished nuclear fuel reprocessing. Um, I got that done while I was setting that up. Um, I had also finished uh, Covarex enrichment. So we're pretty much all set as far as nuclear power goes uh, for the research. Um, <clears throat> oops, but pardon me. If I look at power right now, we've been close to maximum for a while. Um, and that concerns me because my buffer supply of solid fuel has been decreasing. And you can see that we're now consuming more than we're producing. Um, so I'm gonna stop doing research for a little while so that hopefully our power consumption will drop a bit and uh, we'll give that buffer a chance to build back up some more. I mean, I think we're, I think we're safe, but, uh, I don't want to take any chances of having another brown out because it's, it's just a very uncomfortable experience. Okay. So, uh, now that we have that done, uh, I think we should start setting up for uranium mining. Now, <clears throat> before we do the mining, we're going to need sulfuric acid, uh, because as you probably know, sulfuric acid is uh, one of the necessary ingredients for uranium mining. So um, so let's set up a station here where we can load up some sulfuric acid from our refinery. And I think if I make it, put it up here towards the top. Um, in fact, we could just use this one here. And I didn't bring any of the rail with me. So let's grab some of that. All right, let's grab all of that. And I'm going to need, well, I really only need one, right? Okay, and the station goes right here. Alright, so we'll call this main SO is it SO2? No, it's H H two SO four. That's sulfuric acid, I think. If I'm wrong on that, please correct me somebody. Okay. So let's continue 
this rail over here and get it joined up. And how do we signal that? Okay, so we have a normal signal on the input side. And we should probably also, I'll also put a signal right there so that if a train does go in there or so that if a train comes is coming down here it won't as soon as it passes this signal it'll allow another train to come over here and I should probably do the same down here so I'll just ghost one and the bots can put it in All right, now on fluids, do I want to do one, one or one, two? I think we'll do one, two trains for fluids. All right, so let's get some steel. Looks like our plastic production's picked back up again, so that's good. All right, so the fluid trains will do, we'll do one loco and two wagons. The fluid wagons weigh twice as much as a cargo wagon. Um, so since we're going to be doing one, four trains for some of the more dense items, um, this will be kind of equivalent to that, at least in terms of acceleration and everything. Okay. So we'll put that there. Okay. Um, this one's not going to be able to do anything. And loading and loading side is on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to have, and I can put a pump right there, I suppose. I'll just, I'll just remove the inserter. I'll leave this belt here in case we decide to put more trains up above it. So that's pretty much ready. Now we just have to connect the plumbing. Okay, so let's figure out how to get the acid pumped over there. Notice that um, the biter attacks seem to be um, reducing in frequency since we drove around with our artillery wagon. the right spot. Yep. Okay. 
So these each hold 25,000. So this will give us 50,000 acid, two tanks, uh, which is more than enough. Um, and I think this is probably going <laughs> to, this is probably going to drain all of our acid. Yep. Okay. Well, easy come, easy go, right? So that'll take a while to build back up, but um, this will be enough to get us going. All right, so let's get in my train. Oh. Okay, I need to put an outgoing signal, which I think I'm doing with chain signals, right? Yep. I've got my iron train blocked. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go up here and turn right, and we'll start building a rail over to the uranium patch. <clears throat> Actually, I can do this from inside the train. That'll be a little bit more efficient. Uh, oh, okay. It looks like, uh, <laughs> looks like the bots in the base are going to take care of some of this. Uh, which means I'm going to have to wait. Let's take a look at our fuel supply. All right, looks like it's starting to recover a bit. So once we get that built up again, then I'll do some more research. So my bots should be handling the rest of this. Now there is a fairly large iron patch up here, which I want to avoid. That's a 21 million patch. So that's definitely something that I'm not going to want to obstruct in any way. So uh, I'm going to have to try to build around this. So let's go at a 45 away from here. Now, unfortunately, let's see. One, two, three. I never made a print for diagonal rail sections, so. But I think it would look, that's one, two, three, so I think it should go there, right? That looks, doesn't that look too wide? I think it is too wide. Let's go one shorter. That looks too wide also. There, that looks about the same width. Oops. straight section there and then we just need to bridge the gap with 
the electrical pole. Okay, and that works out very good. Let's join the signal wires, which I may never use, but at least they're there if I need them. There, that wasn't so bad. Okay, um, yeah, and let's just, um, I think what I'll do is, I'll just extend it to there. And then I will put one of these at the end. Okay. I should have grabbed my mining drills too. All right, let's go do that. And the nice thing about this is I'm protected on a couple sides by water, so it'll make the defense of this area much simpler. All right, dump that stuff in there. those walls back in and all right we'll grab a couple hundred mining drills it won't take a whole lot of them and then we'll figure out where to put the stations and I suspect that this patch of uranium will probably last the rest of the game Um, speaking of the rest of the game, <laughs> uh, you know that we have a patch coming out, um, and the feedback that I've gotten from most people is that they would like to see a new series begin with the new patch. Um, and that's my inclination right now as well. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, but I won't decide until the patch is actually released and I've had a chance to see, oh my, oh my God, <laughs> we better head back to the base. Where the hell did that come from? Holy crap. That's a lot of nasty biters. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, I won't make a final decision until the patch is released. Um, I'll load up this. I'll load up this base and see how things look. Um, but for sure, all the science is going to be different. The fluid dynamics are going to be different. The belt behavior is going to be different. Um, so I'm not, I'm not really optimistic about how well the base is going to work. Um, in that case, but we'll we'll wait and see. Now, <clears throat> I'm hoping that that attack that just occurred um, was because was because of the artillery work that I did a while ago. 
because uh, if that happens again, man, that was huge. That one's done. Okay, well I think the bots will finish taking care of the rest of that eventually. Why am I not getting more power? There we go. Okay, so we can pick all this up. And that. out of range. That's why it didn't get rebuilt. Okay. Lots of mined out miners. go back and finish up what we were doing. Oh, what now? <laughs> Great. Now they're attacking the new thing that I just set up. I haven't even started making any pollution yet. this right now. No, I think I should. I, I just don't think I'm going to need this much uranium. Let's do, I'll do one more column. And then we'll leave it at that. And I think this will be more than enough. Okay, and I'm going to take this out on the top side since there's more room up there. this case I essentially only need I essentially only need a station to unload the acid well I need a station to unload the acid and then you know if I keep all the nuclear stuff over here so I processed the fuel and then I put the plant over here so I don't have to move the uranium or the fuel around the base. Then I think I'm also going to need iron plate. Yeah, I'll need iron plate as well. And I think that's it. I think that's all that I'll need. So let's just do this. Uh, now for the plate, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a big long train. Right. Okay. 
I know what I can do. All right, so that'll be for the acid. And then this can be for the iron plate. Once I get to the point that I need it. Or, here's an idea. There's iron ore right here. So I can just make, I can just make electric furnaces and I can make the iron plate here. So I don't even need that. Would you guys please leave me alone? For crying out loud. Good thing I have these legs. Maybe I should make another set. I think I should. What do I need for that? Electric engines. 30 of them. Holy crap. Where... I don't understand where these huge armadas of biters are coming from. Wow. Another one. Okay. Same attack. All right. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure where all these biters are coming from. I, I'm guessing that my pollution cloud has recently moved into some other area where it hasn't been before. Okay, and then I guess I should make another RoboPort to fill this out. All right. Yeah, so we'll make we'll make iron plate on site when we need it. Okay, and then we'll put that signal there. We'll put a station. Where is my station? I thought I had a train station on me. I guess I didn't. Okay, so we'll put that there. And this will be uranium one, H2, SO4. And then we'll put one, two. We'll put two tanks with pumps like that. Okay, so I'm going to tell this one to come over here. We'll say until empty for now. Uh, but we're going to be we're going to be more picky about when it actually leaves here. Oh, and it can't get here because I'm in the way. signal there and another one there and we'll put a signal there okay yeah we can make this my passenger station So this will be Uranium-1 PAX. Okay. So now let's put a Decider Combinator. Right 
here. We're going to hook this up. So we have 49,000 here. So we'll say that if this is less than, let's say 2,000, then we're going to give our green signal. Okay, we set this to send to train. And so now it's going to wait here until it's empty. And we have a circuit condition of green greater than zero. Okay, so that way this train won't leave again until it's, uh, uh, until this has dropped down to 2,000 total in those two tanks. And then it'll go back to the main asset station until it's full. All right, so this will just wait here. I don't think it consumes fuel when it's waiting. All right. So now we'll put a couple pumps on the outputs. Actually, we can just do one. And we'll bring that over here. And you only need to connect one. And acid will flow between, you know, acid will flow between all the miners that are next to one another. are at it again and all my <laughs> all my construction bots over there are, are gone so no more repairs uh, let's see I do have a lot of bases here that I could be destroying I wonder if that's a, actually a biter nest. Okay, I'll have to go check that out. Um, now over here, okay, yeah, I'm not going to start destroying biters over here until I get some defenses set up. Okay, and I locked myself out here. covered. Let's try it out. Okay. We're mining uranium. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'll put, I'll put a few turrets here for now. Let's see what we can blow up. We got some nests over here. I try to target like so that I can 
hit multiple nests with the same shot. I'm not always successful, but it does save on these shells, which are rather expensive. Yeah, nice. What's over there? And if I miss the worms, that's fine, since they can't move. Okay, that one's out of range. That's in range. That is in range. And I'll just destroy everything that I can see on the map that's in range. Except for this island, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm getting pretty good at this. Okay, that, oh, this one is, oh yeah, I can get it. goodness for laser defense and those are out of range okay yeah that's all I can do all right so we'll just wait till we get these cleaned up all right good okay so um, when we come back in the next episode, we'll start setting up the uh, uranium processing. Uh, and until then, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'd be happy to address those. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.